हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज सेशन इज ऑन डिसीजन मेकिंग डिसीजन मेकिंग एज यू नो इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक वेन यू टॉक अबाउट प्रोग्रामिंग बिकॉज कंप्यूटर के बारे में जब हम बात करते हैं तो कंप्यूटर में डिसीजन मेकिंग एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर होता है और उसके बेसिस पे ही कंप्यूटर प्रोग्राम एग्जीक्यूट करता है बिकॉज कंप्यूटर का एक इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन है दैट इज द लॉजिकल प्रोसेसिंग एल यू डेट इज द अरिथमेटिक एंड लॉजिकल यूनिट टेक्स द लॉजिकल डिसीजन और इस लॉजिकल डिसीजन को परफॉर्म करने के लिए वी नीड डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट्स डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट्स क्या होते हैं डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर दो स्टेटमेंट्स विच आर यूज टू टेक सर्टन डिसीजन इन द प्रोग्राम प्रोग्राम में कुछ डिसीजन लेने के लिए डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट की रिक्वायरमेंट होती है Now, when we talk about Java, Java के अंदर जो डिसीजन मेकिंग स्टेटमेंट वी हैव टू स्टडी दे आर इफ इफ एल्स इफ एल्स इफ एल्स एंड स्विच केस राइट इफ इफ एल्स इफ एल्स इफ एल्स एंड स्विच केस ये स्टेटमेंट प्रोग्राम में यूज करने के लिए हम लोग यूज करते हैं अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस टर्नरी ऑपरेटर भी हमने पढ़ा है तो टर्नरी ऑपरेटर इज अ टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेटर विच इज यूज फॉर डिसीजन मेकिंग दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट इट नाउ फर्स्ट द इफ स्टेटमेंट If statement क्या होता है If statement is a conditional statement which is used to check for a condition. अगर condition true है तो statement execute होगा Otherwise what has to be done that is not explained there. So the if statement contains a condition to be checked and if the condition is true the statement will be executed. Otherwise nothing happens. For example if I see a number if m equals equals 90 then a statement I say. Now, if the value of m is 90, then it is done. Otherwise, nothing is happened. It's just like in life, what we do. If your parents tell, if you get good marks, we will give you something. That's a condition. But if you do not get something, get the marks, then nothing is specified. So, if a condition along with the condition, there is a statement. So that is the if statement. Next, let us talk about if else. If else statement is used when there is a condition, a condition दिया हुआ है उसके साथ दो statements है अगर condition true होगा तो पहला statement execute होगा और अगर condition false होगा तो दूसरा statement execute होगा So in if else we have two statements. If there is a statement one, the condition is true, statement one executes and if the condition is not true, then statement two will be executed. That is in if else. Like you just see a program I have taken here. Write the program to input two numbers and print the bigger of the two numbers. Now we take the two numbers as input. For example, I took x and y as the two numbers as the two integer values. We take the input for x and y. If x is greater than y, अगर x बड़ा है तो x का value print हो जाएगा. Then system dot out dot println bigger number is x. Else bigger number is y. So we can get the value. So there is if there is a condition. If condition true, will be the first statement. Otherwise, the second statement will be executed. That is in if else. Again, one more program. Write a program to input two numbers and check. Uh, write a program to input a number and check if the number is even or odd. If the number is even, then it will be completely divisible by two. So I take the number a. If a modulus 2 equals equals 0. If we divide A by 2 and we get the remainder as 0, means the number is even. Otherwise, the number is odd. So, we take the number A. If A modulus 2 equals equals 0. If we divide A by 2 and we get the remainder as 0, means the number is even. Otherwise, the number is odd. So, we take the number A. If A modulus 2 is 0, then it is even. Else, it is odd. That is, if else. Next, we will talk about if else if else. If else if else is used for multiple conditions. If we have to check more conditions, in that case, if else if else. There is one condition, statement one. Else if another condition, statement two. Else if तो इस तरीके से एक से ज़्यादा conditions होंगे and if the statement followed with the correct condition will be executed. और अगर condition match नहीं करता है, then whatever statement is specified with the else that will be executed. So this is an if else if else. If there is a condition, statement is there. Else if, फिर से एक कंडीशन है उसका स्टेटमेंट है एल सिफ तो देर कैन बी मल्टीपल कंडीशन और लास्ट में अगर कोई भी कंडीशन मैच नहीं करता है तो एल्स के साथ में जो स्टेटमेंट दिया हुआ है दैट स्टेटमेंट इज एग्जीक्यूटेड दैट इज इन द इफ एल सिफ एल्स 
Now see a program here we are taking. Write a program to input the marks obtained by a student and print his grade. I have taken the condition. If 90 and above, hai, so it is A. अगर 75 to 89 है तो B, 60 to 74 में C, 40 to 59 में D and below 40 में E. Now you see here, we are taking M as input. M is the marks obtained by the student. If M is greater than equal to 90, अगर marks 90 या 90 से कम ज़्यादा है, then it prints A. Otherwise if it is between 75 to 89, else if M is greater than equal to 75 and M is less than equal to 89, in that case, it will be printing B. Third thing, else if M is greater than equal to 60 and M is less than 75, मतलब ये 60 से 74 तक है, तो it is printing C. Else if M is greater than equal to 40 and M is less than 59, then it is D else e so what we are doing that we are taking multiple conditions and based upon those conditions we are getting the required output so this is if else if else any doubt anybody is having good one more thing here one more program you see write a program to input the month number and print the number of days in the month input the month number and print the number of days in the month what will happen here that in this program we are taking the month number m as input right we are taking the month number m as input now if m equals equals 1 or m equals equals 3 so we are using the or operator or is a which operator either it is a arithmetic relational or logical logical operator so either m equals equals 1 or m equals equals 3 or m equals equals 5 or 7 or 8 or 10 or 12 these months have how many days 31 days so we are printing 31 days else if m equals equals 4 or m equals equals 6 or m equals equals 9 or m equals equals 11 in that case is printing 30 days else if m equals equals 2 we will print 20 days always remember do not worry for the question or use your own logic there. The question did not specify for the year to be checked as a leap year or not. So do not go for 28 or 29. Be specific. February has 28 days, 28 days. Right? So whenever you are attempting a question, remember always that whatever is asked, use that much only or try to express that much only because you have just seen the ad no itne paise mein itna hi milega so whatever the question is asking use that much only do not create some extra thing that when you become a programmer you are making a developer or developing a software for somebody that time you can think but here you do not move, become more creative next let us talk about the next program is write a program to input a number and check whether it is number one divisible by two and not divisible by five. Second is divisible by five and not divisible by two. Third is divisible both by two and five. And fourth is neither divisible by two nor by five. Now in this case, it has to be only one output has to come. See the program, we are taking the number as input. N is taken as input. If n modulus 2 equals equals 0 and n modulus 5 is not equal to 0, right? n modulus 2 is 0 and n modulus 5 is not equal to 0. Means it is divisible by 2 but it is not divisible by 5. Second condition, it is n modulus 5 equals equals 0 and n modulus 2 is not equal to 0. Matlab, it is divisible by 5 but it is not divisible by 2. Third one n modulus 2 equals equals 0 and n modulus 5 equals equals 0. Now in this case what is happening? It is divisible both by 2 and by 5. The last condition n modulus 2 is not equal to 0 and n modulus 5 is not equal to 0. Now in this case it is neither divisible by 2 nor by 5. So this is about if else if else. Multiple conditions are there and we are using it in our program. Next you see here switch case statement the switch case statement is used in a menu driven program menu driven program ka matlab kya hota hai like we see in our life no like this so option one then do this then two then this three then this so jahan bhi ek menu driven program hota hai because see this decision making statement you will not be using only for your decision making based programs but loop may use hoga aage string may use hoga array may use hoga wherever because computers may when we talk it's not a individual thing all things combined, they are there in the question. 
so switch case like loops may also you can get questions which will be involving the switch case options option one then do this option two then do this so wherever the questions asks you to develop a menu and based upon the menu do that thing there you have to use the switch case option right so wherever there is a menu driven program there you have to use switch case so uh, you also get questions from MC, uh, in mcq from this like uh, what is the use of the break statement or what is the use of the default case statement or again uh, output based questions can be there so from that you need to take help from this switch case so there are multiple cases and every case is followed by some statement and after the end of the statement there is the break Break kya karta hai? Break program ko switch case se bahar nikalta hai, right? The break statement takes the program out of the switch case. So whenever the break statement is there, it executes and stops there. Agar break nahi hoga, to kya hoga? Fall through situation. You also get a question, what is the fall through situation? So if the break statement is missing, then it continues further till it gets the break statement. This is known as fall through situation, right? For example, you are driving your scooty. The brake did not apply by thing, mistake. What will happen? Till the brake is applied or it, till it stops, it will go on continuing. So this is a fall through situation even when we talk about in switch case. Now let us see a program using switch case. The question says write a program to input two numbers and based upon an input taken by the user, find either option one is for sum, two is for difference and three is for product. Now input the two numbers A and B, take the switch case, for that, I take a variable ch. Switch ch. Ch ko switch ke andar transfer kar diye. Now case 1. Again option 1 hai, it will print the sum. Find the sum and print. Break laga diye. Case agar 2 hai, it will find the difference. Case agar break a condition agar 3 hai, it will find the product. Again, neither 1 nor 2 nor 3. In that case, what it will do? It will print invalid choice. So that is in case of a switch case statement. Again, one more question you see, the same which we did using if-else, input the month number and print the number of days in the month. Now, if there are multiple cases, so what I did, case 1 colon, case 3 colon, case 5 colon, case 7 colon, case 8 colon, case 10 colon, case 12 colon, it printed 31 days and then the break was applied. Again, case 4 colon, case 6 colon, case 9 colon, case 11 colon, we displayed 20, 30 days. Case 2 colon, 28 days. I applied the break. Default may invalid month number because if a user presses one uh, any other number except 1 to 12, in that case it will print invalid month number. So I hope switch case is clear to everyone. Switch, case, break, default. These are the four terms related to it. Fine. Now a very important question that we normally refer to as slab based programs. And take it a note that this program will come in one way or the other in your board examination. Slab based program, a question rahega hi rahega board examinations mein. Uh, this involves understanding the logic. Like I give a question, write a program to input the number of units consumed and find the electricity bill charged at the following rate. Input the number of units consumed and find the electricity bill charged at the following rate. Now, try to understand the program. We have to input the number of units consumed or units consumption ke basis pe, it will calculate the electricity bill. The condition is first 100 units, it is rupees 5. Next 200 notes, units, it is rupees 7 per unit. Next 200 units, rupees 8 per unit. And above 500 units, it is rupees 9 per unit. So, when we talk about this program, you need to understand this thing that it is being divided into certain parts. If I say first 100 units, next 200 units, next 200 units, and then above that. This is the condition here, first 100, next 200, next 200 and above that. Now if the user consumes 100 units, right, or less than 100 units, if I say if the user consumes 40 units, the condition is rupees 5 per unit. So the user will be charged 5 into 40, that is 200. If the user consumes 120 units, 
Now this is divided into two parts. First hundred that is rupees five per unit. So five hundred, and then the remaining remaining how much we get? One twenty minus hundred that is twenty into next two twenty one is seven. So it is one hundred forty. So it total becomes six hundred forty. If the user consumes three hundred thirty units, now you see. For the first hundred units, it is rupees five into hundred. That is five hundred. Next two hundred units, seven into two hundred. It is fourteen hundred. Now how much left? Three hundred thirty minus thirty. So it is thirty units, right? Three thirty uh, units into eighty rupees per unit. So it is two hundred forty. So it is fourteen hundred plus five hundred. Nineteen hundred plus two hundred forty is twenty one forty. Now, if it is crossing the 500 limit as well, 540 units. Now you see, for the first 100 units, it is rupees 500. For the next 200 units, it is rupees 1400. For the next 200 units, it is 1600. How much left now? 40 units. So 500 plus 1400, 1900 plus 1600, 3500 plus 9 into 40. That is 360. So it is. Five hundred, nineteen hundred, thirty-five hundred plus three hundred sixty is three thousand eight hundred sixty. So this is the condition. You need to analyze the program and divide into fragments. That's the modular approach basically. So for the first hundred units, rupees five per unit, five hundred. Next two hundred units, rupees seven per unit, fourteen hundred. So accordingly, we are considering the program. You see here, we take the class E bill. We take the number of units as input. If u is less than equal to hundred, if u is less than equal to hundred, then b equal to u into five. Else, if u is greater than hundred and u is less than equal to three hundred, u hundred से बड़ा है, लेकिन three hundred से छोटा है. So, पहले five hundred hundred units के लिए वो five rupees per unit that is it was charged five hundred. उसके बाद के two hundred units में So 500 plus u minus 100 multiplied by 7. Again, u is greater than 300. So 500 plus 1400 that is 1900 plus u minus 300 multiplied by 8. Else 1900. Now again 8 200 into 8 that is 1600. 3500 plus u minus 500 multiplied by 9. And then finally we are printing the total bill as u b. So this is the program. Once again, try to understand. U taken an input. If U is less than equal to 100, then we are taking the value B equal to U into 5. Otherwise, the next condition, then the next condition. So continuously, we are taking the slabs and adding it together so that we get the final result. So this is the slab-based programs. Try to understand it well. If you have any doubts, you can raise your problems. I'll be there to help them. so with this we come to the end of the theoretical aspect of decision making a very important section which you should always remember thank you